Alright, so <coughs> we're back. I've got those two screws in into this shaft here, which is the top frame space for your, for your two front servos. Alright, so what you do, you get one driver on one side, get another driver on the other, and you tension the two against each other. And just tension them up. Make sure you've got Loctite on them. Again, I do my normal trick, one screw in, one screw in with Loctite and take the first one out again. Alright, so you've tensioned them up. The reason you need two drivers is if you try and only tension one side, what it will do, it will only spin the centre bit. It won't actually put tension on it. And the other side will just spin nice and free. So you need the two drivers to tension it up together at the same time. Alright, so now what we do, I'll go through and I'll put all the spaces in. And these ones here on my helicopter because I've still got plastic mounts. Uh, will be these long self-threading screws. They're about 20 mil long. Uh, just normal thread for plastic or wood. Just a normal self-tapper. And they still go through these normal spacer mounts. So I'll go through and I'll put those six in. Uh, for inter-plastic you do not need Loctite. However, I generally do use Loctite. Some people say it makes the plastic brutal. Some people say it don't. Um, I've never had any trouble with it and it gives me a little bit more peace of mind however definitely on these carbonite servos like these ones they're HS 65 HPs never use Loctite putting the, the retaining screw into the servo because it does damage the carbon uh, there's a big warning on the high tech website about that so I'll just go through and I'll put these six screws in to locate the top frame onto the center frame uh, onto the bottom frame at the back of the helicopter then I'll be back